Richard W. Baker, submitted by his wife, Annette Alderman Baker. Richard W. Baker was born on November 18, 1932, in Waukesha. His parents, Ralph and Vivian West Baker, ran a grocery store at the time of his birth. In 1935, they moved to a farm on Eagle Prairie temporarily until they could move in March 1936 to his grandparents, Richard and Ella Coombe Baker's farm. His brother, Donald, June 1936, and sister, Doris, February 1939, were born on this farm. Richard loved that farm and always told fond memories of their time living there. There seemed to be so much to do and experience. He was sad when they moved to the farm near Troy Center. Ralph and Vivian purchased that farm in 1946 after both of Ralph's parents had passed away and the farm was sold. Richard graduated from the East Troy High School in 1950, going to work at International Harvester in Milwaukee. He joined the Army National Guard in Elkhorn. Shortly after joining, he signed up to go in the active Army. He went to Korea in July 1954, returning home in December 1955. Richard returned to the National Guard unit in Elkhorn. He eventually became a full-time employee and by 1958 was transferred to Milwaukee. He became part of the Nike Missile Program. This required some schooling and training, which he received at Fort Bliss, Texas. Prior to leaving for Fort Bliss, Richard married Annette Alderman in June 1959. They spent eight months in Fort Bliss. They had five children, Valerie, 1960, Timothy, 1961, Tammy, 1963, Wade, 1970, and Heather, 1976. Richard found that the Nike program wasn't really his niche, so he transferred back to the 32nd Division of the National Guard. He was transferred to Wisconsin Rapids in November of 1962. He transferred to Reedsburg in the fall of 1965. In 1978, he was transferred to the 32nd Division Headquarters in Milwaukee. Richard retired in 1990, having served his country for 38 and a half years. He still felt the need to serve, so he became the Washington County Veterans Service Officer in 1990. He served the veterans of Washington County for the Wisconsin Department of Veterans Affairs in Madison. He did this until 2008, retiring for the third and last time. He was always thinking of how he could be of a help to veterans even up until his death in October 2014. He was active in the Eagle, Little Prairie, and Troy Center communities off and on through the years of his life. In his young adult life, he taught Sunday school and was a member of the Eagle Historical Society, contributing artifacts and written articles and helping out whenever he could. He served on the Little Prairie Cemetery Association Board in various officer positions. The welfare of the Little Prairie Cemetery was very important to him. Richard was interested in the history and genealogy of all three communities. He compiled some family genealogy books and newspaper article books of the past years of the three communities.